There are a number of terms that you hear me repeat throughout this video series, so I thought it would be good to start with explaining some of these terms. Some of these are specific to the device, but most of it might actually be helpful uh, to know in the world of live streaming and live video production. With that said, we're not going to dive too deeply into the exact technical details as the goal of this video is for you to catch the general concepts. So for those of you who are more technically informed, you might find some of these explanations to be lacking. To that end, my apologies, but I do want to keep this as simple as possible. Since this device is an encoder after all, it would be good to start with understanding what encoding means. In the simplest terms, encoding is like converting. In this case, we are taking a video signal and converting it into a digital signal. Notice that this corresponds with the connectors as found on the device itself. The SDI or HDMI being the video signal going in and the Ethernet cable being the digital signal going out. The reason it's called ENCODE is because the conversion is changing the raw video signal into digital codes. If ENCODE is video signal to digital signal, DECODE is the other way around, taking a digital signal bringing it back out as a video. In the case of live streaming, your audience's devices like a laptop, smartphone or smart TV are acting as the decoders, converting that digital signal and converting it back to your audience's device screens. Codec. This essentially refers to the code that we are converting to and converting from in the process of encoding and decoding. The word is simply a combination of code and decode. Examples of codecs that you may have heard of are H.264, HEVC, and ProRes. A codec is sometimes called a format. That may not be technically accurate, but for simplicity's sake, we'll say a codec is like a format. You may be wondering if having a single codec type instead of so many codec would be simpler. But there's a reason for the different types to exist. To use an analogy, Codecs are like vehicle types, each with their respective use cases and carrying capacity. In the case of codecs, what's being carried is simply data. For example, H.264 is one of the most widely used codec and is like a sedan. It is general purpose and can't carry a lot of data, but enough to get most jobs done. On the other hand, HEVC is like an MPV. It has most of the general purpose strengths of a sedan, but has a larger capacity ProS is like a truck, meant to carry much more data, but may not be the most accessible option because of its size. Of course, the vehicle analogy may break down if you look too deeply into it, but I hope it serves as a useful starting illustration to what codecs are. Now that we understand that the device basically is converting the video signal into a digital signal, there is still the question of how do we transport it. This is where streaming protocol, sometimes simply referred to as protocol, comes into play. Examples of protocols are like RTMP, RTSP, SRT, or HLS. And more. The E series of encoders actually only encodes in one codec or format, that is H.264, but it can stream in several different protocols like the ones mentioned earlier. This is important since if the device is to be able to connect to a wide range of destinations, it needs to have multiple selections to match the chosen protocol of a destination. To continue the earlier analogy, if a codec is like a vehicle, then the protocol is like a highway. Both the device and the destination needs to have an exit in the same highway in order to be linked. RTMP stands for Real-Time Messaging Protocol. This is the most common protocol used for live streaming as it transports video from one point to a server from where it can be widely distributed. It's used by YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, and most of the common live streaming websites. RTSP stands for Real-Time Streaming Protocol. This is another protocol usually found in local area network video distributions as it transports digital video signals from one point to several in the network. 
It's usually used as a way of video distribution in hotel TVs or CCTV video transports, as an example. SRT stands for Secure Reliable Transport. This is a relatively new protocol focused on transporting digital video signals from one point to another point over the internet with a fairly low latency and reasonable stability. NDI stands for Network Device Interface and HX stands for High Efficiency. This is a protocol that is usually found in local area network video distributions. Unlike RTSP, NDI signals are easier to find and connect to, and the latency tends to be less when compared to RTSP. While this certainly isn't a comprehensive explanation video on the various terms covered, we hope that we have shared a sufficient amount of information so that you can still continue to follow along the future tutorial videos whenever these terms do come up again. That brings us to the end of this video. We hope to see you again in the next one. Take care.